Right, we're diving for the harbor. We're gonna see what we can grab there and then get the hell out of Dodge. Watch for our shoots. It's imperative that we watch for our shoots so we do not get ambushed while on the ground. One other shoot. Two other shoots. Fuck my life. We better head to into the garage and I hope for the best. Need to get the fuck out of here. <sighs> yeah, gun at least. Nice. Just a sidearm, but there might be more in here. Nope. So far, so nothing. Nice. This is what I'm talking about. Just one mag, but I'll have to do. We're actually within the radius, so we don't actually have to move right now. Nice. Red dot and vertical foregrip. Let's hide and equip. Can't be equipped to the M16, it seems, but hey. We'll have to move to the center of the play area soon, but I'm not really looking forward to getting bogged down in close quarters combat in the village. of engagement are to avoid contact, if at all possible. Right now, avoiding contact might be tricky at best. Yeah, red zone is not anywhere near us, so we can start looking for some more ammo, go back up and see if we can get a drop on someone. I'm glad I returned because I'd completely missed the vest and the other things that make me look like a very, very cool person. A little bit like a Spira. I had kind of hoped this would actually take me to the outside, but it didn't. Fuck. We are exfilling.
I don't want to approach those houses. I'd rather just stay close to the hill. But I had misjudged where the fuck the hill was. There's a ridge line right there. Once we get behind that one, we should be safe. However, I also need to take into account that the fact that there might be someone in that radio tower. And if there is, standing up might be a very bad idea. So we'll just keep our ears to the ground. Now, to my advantage is that there are not many players, at least not amongst those I get matched with, who might actually have the patience to do something like what I'm doing right now. So, they might actually not consider someone else doing it. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. Mortars. Red zone goes up in flames. That's both good and bad because that means that people will have flocked to the houses ahead and it may be that some of them are actually dead. Tango, straight ahead, grass fields. We cannot... Tango down. It costs us too many rounds. And we are now also exposed. But we're gonna see if we can crawl over there and loot his corpse. But that's pretty much what I t uh, what I was talking about. There was no one. Uh, or rather, the, let me start over. He didn't consider the fact that there might be someone... Was that an animal or a car? He didn't consider the fact that there might be someone in the field who was being concealed. And hopefully that car didn't consider it as well, because they are moving fast as fuck. Or maybe they are moving fast as fuck. They might have known what happened to him. Either way, let's stay low. See if we can loot the guy. Hopefully he'll have some nice items on him. But since I stayed lo low, I was out of sight, he didn't know where I was. The only problem was that the, due to the high grass, I had to expose myself to take the shot. And I don't like that one bit. In fact, it's kind of reckless of me to open fire in that regard. Because otherwise... The car would have spotted him and most likely either run him over or... Yeah, I don't think we got anyone behind the cyber. Um, the car would have spotted him. Or could have. Right now, I'm very suspicious about that hill to my left. I don't want to take out the victory and... Just to have it snatched under me if you catch my drift. Red zone mortars are going off like hell over there. Either way, we are covered from one side, but that doesn't mean we are covered from every other angle. And we need more ammunition. I really hope that guy he either carried enough ammo for whatever he was carrying, or has some ammo that I can use. There's the box. We are slowly creeping out of a second red zone, meaning that we might have people running up right behind us. Yep, 
Yeah, he got plenty of ammo for all kinds of weapons. He actually also had an AKM, so we're gonna pick that up. He actually had more ammo to the AKM. Uh, we're really glad to get the drop on that guy, because I think that the fact that he was carrying so many weapons made him slightly overconfident. Oh crap, I forgot. He had an he actually had a holographic sight on him. But we never picked that up. I could have used that sight for the AK, so we're gonna sneak back, pick up the sights. There we go. Let's keep moving. We're still well within the boundaries of the map, so... Right now our primary concern is to know if there's someone in the village straight ahead. There most likely is, and if that's the case I don't want to be ambushed by them. And if I just run straight ahead, that is the most likely outcome. So we're gonna stay low, stay out of sight. Considering where the red zone were, I think we can safely assume that we don't have anyone actually behind us. But I also think that the ridge line near Roshnik is a better option. So we're gonna keep moving there and we're gonna do it the same way we've done so far. We're gonna stay the fuck low. I'd rather get shot because I was patient and took my time rather than get shot because I was too impatient and didn't see where the fuck I was going. Because if I get shot while I was patient it means I could have been shot either way. If I get shot because I was impatient, well, yeah, vehicle. See, this is what happens when I'm impatient. I talk a lot, and I almost miss, miss a vehicle, but you can also guess what would have happened if I had been running. This is why we do not run. There's a firefight up ahead, and I don't want us involved in it. In fact, I want us to be in a position where we can just ambush the victor and be done with it. I don't know if we got him or not, but hopefully he's dead. They know we're here. Someone is taking pot shots at us or the car, and I rather s rather say they take pot shots at the fucking car. Great, our rear and flank will be protected by the mortar fire now, so... We're gonna bring out the AK, since the AK is a little bit shorter range, but it has more stopping power, and above else, it has more ammunition. And right now, when 
we have the risk of being in a firefight. Yeah, ammunition is going to be vehicle on the road. Ammunition is going to be at a premium for us. We're gonna need the ability to make a quick reload. We don't have that for the M16 since we do not have enough. Yeah, car. There's a lot of costs here today. And since this is the open grass area, it means that us sneaking around. <sighs> Fuck. We're heading right in the middle of it. I can feel it. And that's not where I want to be right now. I want to be on the edge somewhere. Somewhere safe. Of course. Oh, Tango. Up ahead. Ridge line. Crap, we missed. There's someone in the tower as well. Hopefully he thought he was being fired upon by the tower. But we are gonna go into the shadow by that tree. And we are gonna do so quickly. Get off the ridge, you fucker. I don't want you to see me. At least we hit the guy. So, there's something at least. But my reason for firing on him there was basically to, to scare him off. I don't, didn't want him to stand and look at the scenery. Come on, that had to be a kill shot. At least that one was. I have to assume there's someone close to that tower as well. And I don't know if there was anyone in the car, but there might have been someone in the car. I'll just have to channel my inner Aspira and go and get this done. We're not going to loot that guy. We have enough to last this for a while. And it, I have this feeling that if there's someone in the tower, they will have us dead to rights if we go for the loot. Problem is, I don't have a med kit, so I'm pretty much bummed out if I take more damage. Now, I only took some minor damage from the last exchange, but <sighs> it was a breach of policy. I really want to point out the fact that I've been crawling. Yeah, Tango, right behind us. I don't want him to spot me, so... However, we're far too late for that. We need to run. There we go. Now, if you look at the place from up here, you would not see one crawling around. And that is the entire point of me actually crawling around. In case you were wondering. popping in a fresh mag and I'm kind of hoping that this town will be the place where the final battle is waged so I can pick up a place and just be there but stuff never happens that way in this game especially since people learn that towns is where you go to die
Besides, if there's someone out here with a sniper rifle, I'm fucking dead. Because the entire the entire exercise of crawling around means that I am only invisible as long as people do not have magnification. Alright, I think I know where the si where the entire circle might be heading. So we are gonna make towards that position. Let's see if we can be early on the spot. The problem here is that we are gonna have to expose ourselves. There's no way we can actually crawl all this distance. Uh, we're not invincible, invisible if we crawl on the road. We can't aim the gun high enough to engage him. And if we kneel, we are gonna expose ourselves. So we need to get down to that shadow by the trees quickly. Oh fuck, I think he spotted us. He must have. We've exposed ourselves, we need to move now. Yeah, like I said, we exposed ourselves, so there was nothing else to it. Well, we turned out to be number 22, and I'm fairly happy with that, considering how little I actually played this game.